And thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Bob Chubak. And I'm Megan Miller. First at 6 o'clock, we're learning much more about why Horry County officials want to shut down what they're calling tonight a makeshift club. It's off Cedar Branch Road in between Loris and Longs, and it has a history of violence. Tonight, News 13's Matt Fortin brings us new details. Authorities say there have been three murders at an unlicensed club called Turk's Place, the most recent one in November. Here on Red Denbo Drive is what Horry County officials call a makeshift club in a small wooden structure, something solicitor Jimmy Richardson's office wants to have shut down. Well, that case hasn't been set by um, a civil judge yet, but when they do set it, we will be responsible for coming in and proving all of the allegations that are in the complaint. Those allegations include three murders at the club, additional people shot, and what authorities call innumerable calls to police about loud noise and shots fired. Depending on the outcome of the case, the judge can shut the club down for up to a year. Every time we turn around, we're having to go to this club or that house, and we can't adequately um, do our job for having to constantly be over there. That's the kind of message Richardson will get from police chiefs to prompt this type of nuisance action. His office has used the strategy on a few dozen businesses in the past several years on everything from bars to massage parlors. Some of the more recent actions against strip club derrieres and the Coral Sands Motel. Richardson says his office typically limits itself to a few cases like this a year. By doing that, uh, we're never in a situation where it is a um, shot from half court. It's usually a layup. It's going to be the worst of the worst. I reached out to who appears to be one of the owners on Facebook. I have not heard back yet. You can count on News 13 for updates on this case. For now in Horry County, Matt Fortin, News 13.